Hi Earth Science, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what will happen if the two of you come back together and revisit this connection. So if the two of you decide to get back together, what will happen? It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email just below the video here. So once again, this reading here is intended for all earth signs. So let's give the cards a shuffle and begin. Okay, these are very interesting cards you have there. So first of all, I just want to mention that I see that there is still a flame here that burns brightly. Okay, so maybe the flame isn't as big or as bright as it was when you guys were in a very good place, but the good news is that it's still flickering. Okay, it may be a smaller flame, it may not be such a massive fire, but there's still a spark. And if the two of you come back together, there's still that attraction, there's still that spark, that connection. You can definitely fan the flames here and fuel it into a massive fire because that connection still exists. So you may have lost touch with one another. You guys may have separated. It may have been a very emotional and even very dramatic or theatrical ending. But I feel like the fact that you guys have separated, in hindsight, I feel like it was a good thing because that was a chance for you to do some renovating with the presence of the tower card okay i always say that the tower is a blessing in disguise because it's the universe here trying to illuminate here with the bolt of lightning which is the bolt of truth that hey you know there's something in your connection that needs fixing and if you don't fix it now further down the road it's going to become much of a bigger issue than it is right now so i know it's very ominous it's very I mean, frightening, sorry. And whenever we get the tower card, it's like, oh, great, the tower card, right? But to me, it, I feel like it, it's a blessing. It really is. Uh, I know it doesn't seem that way to a lot of people, but it's a chance to rework, okay, to restructure your foundational structures. It's a chance to look at your relationship and go, hey, this is not working. This needs fixing. Okay, so it's not ignoring the red flags that wave down at you. It's not ignoring the issues and allowing them to, you know, pile up into this mountainous piles. It's fixing things. It's addressing issues instead of, you know, t you know, looking the other way about it. So I really feel like the if you guys do decide to reconnect and come back together, I feel like second chance might even be better for the two of you. Because, hey, let's face it, we don't always get it right the first time. And I like to say that some of life's greatest and most exhilarating and exciting adventures begin on the wrong path you know, with the wrong turn. And sometimes you meet someone and you begin off on the wrong foot, but it doesn't signify that, you know, the connection isn't worth pursuing or that it's um, it's not going to be wonderful later on. So I feel like second time around is a little bit better. Why? Because I feel like you've had, you've had history with one another. You know each other. You kind of know, you know, each other's emotional push buttons, you know what works, you know what they're like, you know their flaws, their insecurities, they know yours. So you've got something to deal with. It's not like you're going into this not knowing each other and just trying to figure it all out. It's coming together and cooperating. So, and like I've mentioned, you know, there's still that attraction and whatever this is, whatever you guys had going on, or you may still have going on, I see that there is room for so much growth. And I feel like your person definitely has that eager, that eagerness and that enthusiasm to reconnect with you, as do you here, okay? And Aces, of course, are sure in new beginnings. And I like this because I feel like it's an it's a second chance. It's a second chance to do things all over again, to maybe even do them better this time around. It's a new beginning. It's a new chapter here. And it's about learning from the past, okay? 
working through things, identifying any flaws, issues, any concerns that you have in the connection. And don't just think that they will dissolve or dissipate and go away because they don't. And maybe that was the mistake you might have made or they might have made in the past. It's seeing an issue, identifying it, and then talking it out and then coming together and working with each other, okay? Because a coin has two sides, right? There is your side and then there's their side. So it's all about compromise. It's all about sacrifice. You know, it's all about meeting each other in the middle, not a quarter of the way. So if you guys do come back together, I feel like you have a chance to fix things, salvage things, or repair things because it is salvageable, it is fixable, it is repairable, but only if you want it to be. If you want to work on things, okay, relationships aren't about the obstacles or the hurdles or the unwanted blockages that you meet in your path. It's how you conquer those obstacles, okay? A successful relationship is one that rises to meet and conquer those obstacles here. And I feel like if you do decide to come back together again, the two of you could honestly build an empire here with the Empress energy. Look, yeah, they're a little bit stubborn. Yeah, they have their um, their insecurities or their shortcomings. But as do you, no one is perfect. But it's all about, you know, think about like the people that you love most in their life. They're not perfect. They have insecurities. They have, you know, um, little annoyances about them. But you love them, you know, despite of those... Um, frustrations or annoyances right same thing goes with your person so it's all about all about learning um, you know learning and discovering things about one another and just making it work so honestly if you do decide to revisit this connection I feel like it stands a very good chance especially for positive developments as I've mentioned there's still that spark there's still that attraction and that can definitely be fueled into a massive fire there is a passion now for some of you I feel like Maybe that's why the connection sort of dwindled out because you guys started so strong and so passionately and it didn't stem beyond that physical, you know, those physical emotions, that physical attraction. So here's your chance to get to know one another more intimately, you know, discover the individual self, who they are rather than, you know, what they can just give you intimately or physically here. So as I've mentioned, I feel like for a lot of you and for this connection here with this particular energy, a second chance just may be what you want. But again, it all it's all about the two of you coming together to cooperating and me meeting each other halfway. It's not about you wanting it and them not wanting it. You know, this will only work if they want it as bad as you and if they're able to work on things and try to fix things. And, you know, um, the same goes for you here because notice that vegetation and, you know, that lush um, garden there there's a lot of room for growth and a lot of room for this to be so much more than what it was or what it is Alrighty, guys and these are your messages thanks as always for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing um, liking commenting sharing if you're after a personal reading feel free to connect otherwise bye for now